a poet out in Pueblo, Colorado. It's that spirit language you hear riding a train whistle, bourbon street horns blowing the dead out of St. Louis Cemetery into your thoughts. It's driving on New Mexico's red dust back roads, coyotes in the sagebrush, coyotes howling in your head as your car speeds your hand across the page to New York City, sending your blues my way. A hot chili pepper sun sends you ghostly visions a dead father, woman still waiting for you in a roadhouse cafe. You keep looking past at me you can't see on a crowded subway car. Nothing so exotic here as a rattlesnake woman dancing for whatever I have. It's the same homeless woman by the steps asking, any change today, anything at all? And there's that coyote who won't let you be, that trickster. He's everywhere you look. I saw him today on the news wearing a suit, trying to sell me his opinions, posing as my landlord. I saw him behind a desk in the bank, a doctor's office, an insurance office. Indians aren't drumming for rain or the heart or the heat to let up here. We pray for the AC to keep working, something to quench our thirst, end the drought in our lives to make it to our station without being robbed, who've already been robbed of everything. It's that moan of lonesome you hear crossing state lines coming your way. Wow, beautiful. Thank you. And this is, um, call him Pegasus. Remember Barbarus? He was this horse everyone expected to win. Well, that's what it's about. Um, Sweaty men in work clothes, busy harnessing animals to myth, didn't see a winged horse about to fly off earth. Too long since Merlin ruled a country and first moonwalks, since I flew on something more than a plane. I'd never followed the races, but that day jumped on, same as everyone. Ghost jockey for position. It's a wonder the living man wasn't toppled. So, that day there was him and all the rest, as long ago in a tiny bedroom, looked like a cathedral, my first lover said, room packed with ghosts where two kids tried and failed to have for just ourselves, as afterwards I tried and failed with others. Death is a wound, a broken leg, what must heal with time. Vets who knew better said, there's a chance during half a dozen surgeries and the nine months birthing time he clung to life. You see, it wasn't just a horse we needed to be all right, and wasn't just a horse euthanized. Thank you. Thank you.